Hello everybody, welcome back to Critical Hit Wargaming where today we're going to be speed painting some Star Wars Legion Imperial Stormtroopers. They are seriously easy to paint. Fear not the white armour, I'm going to teach you how to do it in 12 minutes. In order to start this 12 minutes per model scheme you're going to need to undercoat your model. Now you're going to need to use white and you can use Corax white if that's all you've got from Games Workshop but bear in mind that Corax white is more of a light grey than it is a white and as such your models will be a little bit darker. What I'll be using is Colorforge's matte white. If you've not heard of Colorforge before and you're from the EU or the UK they make a wide range of sprays that give fantastic coverage and do exactly what you want them to do and that's what I'll be using for my Stormtroopers. First two paints you're going to need are Apothecary White and Contrast Medium. We're going to be mixing these together starting with Contrast Medium. You want to go at a ratio of about 2 to 1, so if you put 4 blobs of Contrast Medium on your palette then you want 2 helpings of Apothecary White and you should be good to go. Just bear in mind that this isn't an exact science. If you get it a little bit wrong and you've got a little bit more apothecary white in there than contrast medium it doesn't matter as long as your apothecary white isn't straight out the pot onto your model you're going to be absolutely fine What you're going to do now is paint your mixture of Apothecary White and Contrast Medium all over your Stormtrooper. Spare no part of the model. Get it everywhere. Make sure it doesn't pull too much on the flat open areas like on the sides of the legs or the shoulder pads. But you want to make sure that the entire model is covered. Once your model's dry, it's going to look something like this. And as you can see, our Stormtrooper armor is already looking mega. Now we just need to make it a little bit whiter again. To do that, we're going to use white scar and a dry brush. Get some white paint on your dry brush and then rub it off on a kitchen towel. Whereas you'd normally get almost all of it off in order to dry brush. In this case, we're going to leave a little bit more on your brush than normal. And that's so when you start dry brushing the model, it will catch on the flat areas as much as it will the raised areas, but will still leave the recesses full of apothecary white, and that will make the armour nice and white again. With that done, the armour is actually finished. If you want to add some weathering and stuff like that, you can do so. But at this point, if you're looking for some straight up clean stormtroopers fresh off the dropship or off the Star Destroyer, then that's that done. Next, grab yourself some Abaddon Black and we're going to start painting in some of the other details. This is, for the most part, going to be extremely fiddly, so make sure you have a steady hand and make sure that you water down your black so that it flows off your brush as easily as possible. Go around your model and paint in the band around the top of the helmet, paint in the mouth, paint in the comms pieces on the front of the helmet, the eye slits, the blaster, the gloves, and then all of the armour undersuit. If you make a mistake at this point, you can correct it using Corax White. With all of that black done, here is our model up to this point. Our Stormtrooper is starting to look very much like a Stormtrooper and there's only a few details left for us to paint in. So let's crack on. Grab yourself some Cantor Blue or Equivalent and we're going to use that for one job and one job only and that's to paint in the three dots on the side of the Stormtrooper helmet. Be as neat as you can because these are very very small holes. Next you're going to need Eshin Grey or a similar medium grey, you could use Mechanicus Standard Grey if that's what you got, or Vallejo or whatever you've got, the point is you need a grey. You're going to use that to paint in some very specific areas which is the two cheek marking indent things and then the two indents on the back of the helmet. If you want to highlight the gun at this point you can do so using this paint.
And here is what our finished Stormtrooper looks like. All of those steps should take you about 10 to 12 minutes per model, not including drying time. It's a really, really simple scheme. Ordinarily white is something that makes painters petrified, but using that contrast paint, apothecary white and some contrast medium mixed together, it takes the effort out of the whole thing. You just cover your model and you're done. Here's what it looks like all based and ready to go. If you want to know how I did that base, it's the Vallejo Earth Texture Paint stuff. It comes in a big pot. And all you do is paint it onto the base, wait for it to dry, and then I dry brushed it with Ushabti Bone and Screaming Skull, and it was done. If this has been helpful, like, subscribe, check out all the other videos we've got going on. There's a Legion game there, there's some other Legion painting tutorials, there's 40k, there's Age of Sigmar, there's largely everything you can think of. Thanks very much for watching.